New York and Turkey, September 29, 2023, where the heaviest rain hit both countries and caused severe flooding. This is fine. Heavy rainfall pounded New York City and the surrounding region Friday morning, leading to reports of flash flooding throughout the area and disrupting surface on major subway lines and stranding some morning commuters. The National Weather Service issued a flash flood warning for Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens that was set to last through 12.30 p.m. Additional warnings were in effect for the Bronx, Staten Island, and Jersey City NG. The Weather Service warned that flash flooding will affect highways, streets, and underpasses. Video showed car driving through flooded roads in parts of Queens and Brooklyn. The area around Kennedy International Airport in Queens has reported more than three inches of rain. At La Guardia, travelers were told to avoid the area around Terminal A, which was closed. Officials cautioned New Yorkers to stay off the roadways and avoid traveling. Mayor Eric Adams' office sent a travel advisory via email Thursday evening at 11 p.m. and post updates on Twitter. The Metropolitan Transportation Authority warned of major disruption to subway surface, especially in areas of Brooklyn, because of looting. There was no two, three, four, or five train surface in Brooklyn, Northbourne, and trains were delayed at B train surface was suspended in both directions. A crowd stood outside the Clark Street station in Brooklyn Heights at 9 a.m. unsure of how to proceed. Tracks were flooded at the stop that sits at one of the deepest underground points in the subway system and leads passengers under the East River to Manhattan. All lanes of the Belt Parkway were closed in both directions of Corpse uh -oh, Avenue careful. in Brooklyn because of flooding and parts of the FDR Drive were experiencing delays. The rain is expected to continue throughout the day, with several more inches expected through the evening, said Joe Polina, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. On Manhattan's Upper East Side, floodwaters spilled onto the sidewalk. Many people tried to brave the morning commute, bundling rain jackets and sprinting toward the Q station on the corner of 83rd Street and 2nd Avenue in weather lot shoots. Under terror by the heavy rain, one man squelched down a flooded sidewalk for his morning run. In Turkey, 
Torrential rain and several flooding have wreaked havoc in Istanbul, Turkey's largest city, with scores of houses and workplaces inundated, especially in the northern part of the province. Following the yellow cold warnings and thunderstorm alerts issued by the Turkish State Meteorological Service, intermittent rain began in certain parts of the city on the morning of September 28. However, as of the evening, intermittent rain transformed into heavy downpours leading to flash floods. In some parts of the city, the water levels rose up to half the height of vehicles. Footage by local media showed drivers struggling to navigate through flooded routes with some cars completely submerged in the Basakeir district. In Arnavutkoy, a stream overflowed due to intense rainfall, inundating a workshop located in the area. As the workshop began to fill with water, the workers inside sold refuge on the roof. The presidency of Afat promptly evacuated residents. Similarly, the courtyard of a primary school in the same vicinity was also flooded with water, affected students, teachers, and school staff. Heavy rainfall has particularly impacted the northern regions of Istanbul. The amount of rainfall per square meter in Arnavutkoy was 218 kilograms, Silivri was 42.5 kilograms, Katalka was 49.5 kilograms, and San Chaktepe was 32.5 kilograms, a statement by the Istanbul governor's office said. As of the morning of September 29, downpours hit the region on the Anatolian side, paralyzing daily life and causing serious damage. In the Pandic district, a retaining wall collapsed. Several vehicles were affected. This significant weather event disrupted everyday life limiting transportation and businesses activities in the affected areas. In Istanbul's northern district, Basak Seir and Kusuk Mesis, several vehicles were broken.